Oh man, I love this topic today. So we're talking about editing together some clips that we took over the weekend or on vacation with our drone and our mirrorless camera. We want to edit together these clips into a strong, engaging video. So let's look at the DNA of what makes an engaging video. Then how to edit that together. Yes. I use the word engaging here as the big goal for our videos. That word is super specific and intentional why I chose it. The word engaging, it incorporates all the attributes of interesting, informative, curious, entertaining, dynamic. So that's our goal today. We wanna craft videos that are engaging. Now, here's a very important point. I think many drone beginners mistakenly conflate cinematic with engaging. If a clip has cinematic visuals, but nothing else, it'll be engaging for about three seconds. That's it. That's why I say cinematic visuals are not an essential part of an engaging video. Perfect example, Casey Neistat, the king of engaging videos. And boy, his videos are the opposite of cinematic, but he can get 10 million people to watch a video of him returning a t-shirt. Okay, but I get it. You and I, we want our drone videos to be visually pleasing and engaging. Got it. The only reason I brought up Casey Neistat is I want to firmly establish right here, right now, that getting more cinematic footage will not make your videos more engaging. The only way to create more engaging videos is to understand the DNA of what makes an engaging video. So let's talk about that now. And then we'll talk about how to edit that together. I got out my crayons and I drew something for you. So this is the DNA of what makes a drone video engaging. This is just my opinion based on my experience. The skill of storytelling, it's the master skill to rule them all. The skill of editing to evoke emotions in the viewer, man, that is the king and the queen. If your footage and editing can stir emotions in the viewer, yep, that's gonna be a very engaging video. I heard an incredible quote that I shared on the channel here last year, Hollywood is in the emotional transportation business. That is fantastic. What a cool way, a cool use of words and to phrase something to, to get you to see something a little bit different. Next, I put efficient here because we've all watched videos that drag on too long. If a video is repetitive and it's too long, it's no longer engaging. That's why I think efficient is a core part of the DNA of an engaging video. Now these last two here, we're gonna discuss in the next section on editing. So I turned this pie chart into a little list so I can see it frequently and it's my roadmap, it's my goal. Now let's move on to the editing specifics for creating engaging drone videos. This episode is sponsored by Toontang. Drones are purely a hobby for many of us in the community here. So I wanted to find the best possible, least expensive music download service for you guys. I spent two months testing a service called Toontank. Now, first of all, the music selection is really strong because that's what's most important. And thank you Toontank for making the simplest interface I've ever seen. All the songs and sound effects are 100% original to Toontank and not found anywhere else. So they have a free option and they have a $7 per month option. Free? Like free free? Ha, ah, yep, 100% free. The two catches are only two songs per video. Fair enough. And secondly, when your edited video is finished and ready to upload to social media, you just drop the link to the video here and it registers the songs you chose to remove any copyright claims. That's it, takes two seconds. Now you have a totally free 
music download service with access to their entire library of songs and sound effects, all royalty free. So I asked them, why this quick registration step? It prevents people, anyone, from downloading their proprietary songs and then registering them as their own. Fair enough. Now this is really important. There are other, quote, free music download services, but they add an audio watermark like this. Bensound.com. Then you have to pay to remove the watermark. It's not actually free. But Toontank is a true free music download service for their entire royalty-free music library. So the other option is $7 per month, no restrictions. That is the lowest price I've seen for a true royalty-free music download service that has a serious selection across all genres. And I tested their customer service. Very nice people. That goes a long way in my book. Thank you to Two Tank for sponsoring this episode. There's a link down below to check it out. If you want the secret to it all, this one thing I'm about to say right here is the absolute bottom line. If you want to edit together wildly more creative and engaging drone videos. This concept is supported by research and it applies to every creative domain. Today's most accomplished artists and craftsmen, they all leverage this discovery. All right, so I spent a lot of time carefully putting together this section because I'm fascinated with the realization of creative potential we all have inside of us. Another guy who was fascinated by this was a brilliant psychologist and researcher at the University of California at Berkeley. He conducted the most important study on creativity maybe ever, and it's been replicated hundreds of times over the years. He wanted to figure out how does someone, anyone, increase their creativity by the greatest amount and the fastest. Now this applies to any creative pursuit, music, poetry, video editing, furniture design, writing. In the experiment, Professor McKinnon, they had one group of craftsmen work on a single project for the duration of the study. So the whole time, they, these craftsmen were refining this one project until it was the ultimate, the most creative they could do. While the other group, every week, they started and finished a new project. So by the end of the study, this group had many different projects that they continually iterated on and finished. Then the experts came in and evaluated everyone's project and it was determined that the group who continually iterated on multiple projects had a much higher level of creativity than the group that focused on just one project during that duration. That constant iterating, it forces innovation and discovery through that continual trial and error. Today's most accomplished artists and craftsmen, they all leverage this discovery. Here we are in my editing program. I use LumaFusion because it allows me to edit super fast and easy. I've used Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, but this editing program, I can create projects and edit 10 times faster, easier, and more fun. And remember, we just got done talking about the proven power of many iterations quickly. That means creating many timelines fast. And by the way, a super complicated editing program like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, will not make your drone footage better. They cannot fix crappy lighting and poor composition and weak subject and bad storytelling. Nope. All right, let's begin. So now we'll go through step by step my editing process to create more engaging videos. Now, create your timeline and drop in the clips you want to use. Trim them very quickly just to the general start and stop point. This is just a rough cut, so do not spend time fine-tuning here. 
no color grade, no cropping, no music, no graphics. Now, I get out my pen and paper and I start to write down some quick thoughts on what could be some very simple story arcs here. I spend less than a minute on this step, but it's incredibly important. Always start by identifying your subject in the clips, then a few possible storylines. This might trigger the idea to bring in some additional B-roll. Now this step can be frustrating. I often struggle here. That is normal. But a quick tip, sometimes a storyline will be obvious, like if you have a family vacation video, but suppose you just want to edit together a few clips from Sunrise yesterday. There is no real story, but you can think in terms of a simple theme, like this. You can get as playful and creative here as you want. I truly believe this step is an optional if you want to create more engaging videos over time. Ah, oh, this is part of your new identity. That of a writer, a storyteller, a filmmaker. Great, so we laid out the basic clips. Now, duplicate that timeline two, three, or four times. Here is where I choose a song. So now, this timeline has some flavor, some emotions start to surface, creative ideas, about a direction start to appear. And major step here, this is where we rearrange the clips to fit the story arc and the beats of the song. And that's what dictates the pace of the edit. Next, adjust the start and stop point of each clip so it works with the pace of the song and the overall pace of the video. Now, that is called a rough cut. That is where all the magic happens. Those four steps right there we just completed. Choosing clips, choosing the song, rearranging the clips according to the story arc, then adjusting the start and stop point of each clip. I say it does not get more important than this. Why? Because everything beyond this, it's just polishing or call it putting on the lipstick color grading, cropping, transition, graphics. So are you gonna polish a chopped 55 Cadillac Coupe de Ville or are you gonna polish a crappy Ford Pinto? The quality of your rough cut determines that. It's the foundation. The more times you practice laying these rough cuts, the better they will become. For the rest of the year, if you stop spending time on all the little finishing details like cropping and color grading and graphics and transitions, and instead spent that time improving this foundational skill of crafting strong rough cuts, your videos will be 10 times more engaging and creative. The rough cut is the foundation, like the script is the foundation of a movie. You can have the greatest actor, the greatest director, the best editor money can buy, but if the script sucks, the movie's gonna suck. It's the exact same thing with the rough cut for your drone videos. The foundation is the only thing that matters. Strong clips, great song, arranging the clips well, and then trimming them efficiently. Now let's spend one more minute on this rough cut phase because there's a few more essential things. Earlier, I told you to duplicate the timeline a few times because these are your iterations. Super important, these iterations cannot be just minor little tweaks. Make each timeline very different in a meaningful way. Almost like there's a different editor inside you crafting this new timeline. A totally different song can help spark a radically different creative direction as well. The next essential thing to keep in mind during this rough cut phase is here is where you ensure that the video doesn't drag on. We're arranging the clips and massaging the start and stop points so we have our song, we have our story arc, so it's here where we start to get the sense if the video is dragging. 
so you can address it right away in this rough cut phase. If you think the video is too slow and dragging on or getting a little boring in some points, this is where you fix that. That's why I put efficient in our list of the DNA of an engaging video. The other important part of the DNA of an engaging video is novelty. An evolutionary psychologist once said, humans are novelty seeking organisms. We're very drawn to new things. It's baked into our DNA. So I like to always include a little element of surprise, of novelty in my videos. Surprise might be a little bit of a strong descriptor here, but it can be subtle. But an important ingredient for an engaging video is uniqueness, novelty, distinctiveness, even a little unexpected humor once in a while. Okay, and lastly, a video can be engaging if it's informative. I know many of us drone cowboys, we love to document historic and unique locations around the world. And it's a great opportunity to provide some interesting information about the landmark. This can be engaging and it's either via text, voiceover, or talking head. But I encourage you to try this in a unique way. Always be experimenting with interesting ways to share information. Okay, this last point is muy importante, senor. Mi señoritas. Often we're editing a video and it's like 95% finished, but that last 5%, we spend a huge amount of time with the tiniest little tweaks. Often the last 5% can account for like half the time spent on the video total. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> if you're serious about making real improvements with your videos, adhere to the discovery that we talked about earlier, where artists are executing the most iterations by the end of each year, they have the biggest increase in creativity. So take all your videos to 95% finished and say, done, it's now 100% finished. So now take all of that time saved and spend it on new iterations, experimenting with totally new creative directions on your timeline. If you triple the amount of videos you finish at the end of each year, your creativity will jump substantially. That's guaranteed. And if you're interested, I created a drone cinematography masterclass recently. I am super proud of how it came out. I priced it at only $17.95, and many of my students who've gone through the course, they say it's way underpriced for the value that they got from it. But I wanted to keep the price low and accessible to most everyone. If you want to learn more, there's a link down in the description. Oh, thank you for watching, my flying filmmaker friend, and I will see you in the next one.